Wonderful works unto the children. If you're grateful to be alive today, will you open up your mouth and give God a glorious praise? Hallelujah. Come on, let everything that hath breath. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Praise ye the Lord. Praise God in his sanctuary. Praise him in the firmament of his power. Hallelujah. Come on, let there be a sound. Let there be a sound. Glory to God. Let there be a sound. Hallelujah. And we give you praise, Lord. And we give you the glory. Hallelujah. We give you the honor. Yes, Lord. Even the fruit of our lips, we honor you and we magnify your name. Oh, Lord, our Lord, how excellent is thy name. Hallelujah. In all the earth, great is our God. Yes, Lord, and greatly to be praised. Hallelujah. Into his gates, glory to Jesus, with thanksgiving. Into his courts with praise. Somebody lift your voice and be thankful. Hallelujah. Come on, lift your voice and be thankful. Glory to God. Hallelujah. I dare you open up your mouth and remember that God is still good. Hallelujah. And be thankful. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. Come on. This is how we begin worship. We invoke the presence of the Lord. Enter into his presence. Hallelujah. Usher yourself in. Usher yourself in. Yeah, that's it. Usher yourself in. Glory to God. Usher yourself in. Hallelujah. He's been waiting on your arrival. Yes, he has. He's been waiting on your arrival. Hallelujah. 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 And we give him glory. Hallelujah. We give him the praise. Yes, we do. We give him the glory. Glory to Jesus. We give him the praise. We give God. God, you're worthy to be praised. Hallelujah. Lord, you're worthy to be praised. Hallelujah. You came and you died. Yes, he did. Died for my sins. Lord. Hallelujah. You're worthy to be praised. Worthy of the glory. Worthy of the honor. Worthy of my praise. Worthy of your praise. Hallelujah. Come on. Hallelujah. Till your praise ignites your room. Glory to God. Till your praise. Hallelujah. Ignites the atmosphere. Hallelujah. Somebody in the virtual space. Come on. And enter into his presence. Hallelujah. God, we thank you. Hallelujah. There is none like you. Oh, my, 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 my. There is none, none in the heavens above, none in the earth below. There's nobody like Jesus. Yeah. Hallelujah to God. Nobody like our Savior. Nobody like the great I am. Nobody like him. Nobody like him. Nobody. Oh, come on. I feel it now. Yes, Lord, we praise you. Hallelujah for your excellent greatness. He's been faithful. He's been merciful. He's been kind. He's still loving. Hallelujah. And we give him glory. Hallelujah. And we give him the honor. Hallelujah. Lord, we just want to thank you. Hallelujah. Lord, we just want to thank you. If it had not been for the Lord on our side, where would we be? My God. Hallelujah. Come on, glory carriers. We're almost there. How, where would we be? Where would we be without his love? Where would we be without his compassion? Where would we be if he wasn't long-suffering? If he wasn't gracious? Hallelujah. But he is a great God. Yeah, I said God is great and greatly to be praised. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. God is great. Yes, he is. And greatly to be praised. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. And when we think of your goodness, God, we must praise you. We must thank you. Hallelujah. He's been too good. Yes, he has. Hallelujah. He's been too kind. Hallelujah. 
He's been too wonderful. My God. More than amazing. More than marvelous. Hallelujah. An excellent God. Uh, yeah, I hear you. He's a good, good father. He is. He is a good, good, good father. Hallelujah. And we thank you. And we praise you. Hallelujah. And we lift our voice. Yes, Lord. And we lift our hearts. Righteous God. Hallelujah. Holy God. Holy is his name. Glory to Jesus. 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 Come on, just a few more moments of this. Hallelujah. Till everybody's praising. Hallelujah. Come on, invite your neighbor to praise God with you. Invite somebody to worship God with you. Come on, for he seeketh such that will worship him in spirit and in truth. Glory to God. Glory to God. Hallelujah. The heavens declare his glory. Hallelujah. And we in the earth, hallelujah, stand to give you reverence. We stand to adore the King of Kings, to exalt the name of the Lord Most High. Hallelujah. And we bless your name. And we bless your name. And we bless your name. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Woo, Shama. We bless, oh God, we bless your name. We bless your name. We bless your name, Jesus. We bless your name, Jesus. In our shire. We bless your name, Jesus. Hallelujah. Father, bless now your people that have come into your sanctuary, to the place where you dwell, to the place where your glory is. God, I pray, move by your power today. I pray, oh my, my, my. Send a fresh wind, hallelujah. Send a fresh wind, glory to God. Breathe on us, yes. Breathe on us. Do it again, Lord. Do it again, Lord. Yeah, 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 yeah. Do it again, Jesus. Come on, I dare somebody open up your mouth and ask God. Do it again, Jesus. In this place, Lord, as we stand to lift up your name, you said if you would be lifted up, you would draw all men unto you. Father, draw hearts and minds unto you today. Let Bless somebody to give their life to you. Bless somebody to turn their heart over to you. Bless somebody to trust you again. Touch somebody, Lord God. Let them believe again. Woo! Ignite somebody's faith, God. They'll turn over their problems. Turn over them. They'll cast their cares at your feet, God. For you care for us. You're the God that sees and knows all. And you know what we have need of even before we ask. So, Father, we come to ask you to bless us today to touch us today fill us again pour out of your spirit let glory and your anointing have your way in this house have your way in that room in that atmosphere to the one that's tuned in virtually let your spirit fill that atmosphere that environment God be glorified be thou exalted oh God be thou exalted Yes, God, my, 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 hallelujah. Be lifted up high, God. Let your train fill this temple. Glory of God be revealed. Miracles, signs, wonders. Your will be accomplished, God. Flow from heart to heart and from breast to breast. And let your glory, hallelujah, be evident in this place. God, when we leave here, let us leave with the victory. God, I thank you. Yes, Lord. Let your, woo, God, have, let your spirit have accomplished something in us. God, do a work in us. Do a work for us. Only you can do it. We say yes, Lord. We submit ourselves 
into your hand even now. We give you reverence. We believe you did. Hallelujah. Do exceeding and abundantly. God blow our mind. Yeah, God. God blow our mind. Exceed expectations. Yeah. Oh yeah. Supersede that anticipation. And send fire. Send the Holy Ghost. Send Spirit of God. Touch everyone in the building. Touch everyone connected. In the name of Jesus. 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 Woo. My God, my God. Somebody lift your hands and call the name of Jesus. Do it today, Father. Do it today. Let no one escape this glory. Let no one escape this move. Bring us all into the unity of your spirit. In the name of Jesus. Woo. In the name of Jesus. Woo. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Do it now, Father. Oh, my, 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 my. Do it now in the name of Jesus. And we'll praise you. And we'll go, oh, shall I see you? And we'll glorify you. And we'll thank you. We declare it is so. Yeah. Can I get a glow and carry you to open up your mind and declare it is so? Oh, my, 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 my. my. Yes, I'm out. And it is so. And it is so. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the whoosh. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name Shataya. In the name In the name of Jesus. We declare it is so. Amen. Clap your hands and give God praise, everybody. Woo! Shanda I said, clap your hands and give God praise. Woo! I said, clap your hands. And give what shama? Clap your hands, all you people. I feel glory in the house. I feel glory in the house. I feel glory. Somebody lift your voice like a trumpet. Woo! And it is so. And it is so. Woo! Yo breaking anointing. <laughs> Demon tremble anointing. Power releasing anointing. Woo! And it is so. And it is so. And it is so. Somebody shout hallelujah in the house. Shout hallelujah in the house. Oh my, 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 my. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Woo. Somebody send this around the room, tell somebody we're in for a move, we're in for a move. Come on, tell somebody you're in for a move today. Hallelujah. Because the Lord is already here. Yeah. I said the Holy Ghost is already here. He's been waiting on you. I said he's been waiting on you. Come on, I'm moving, but tell somebody whatever you need. Yeah. 
God's cabbage. Woo. Yes. He's got everything you need. Yeah, 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 yeah. Woo. All that I need, it's in Jesus. He satisfies. Woo. Joy he supplies. My life would be worthless. Yeah. Without him. Yeah. Oh, yeah. All things. I feel glory in the house. I said all things. I said all things. All things. In him I find. Woo! Somebody praise God for your mouth in the day. Praise God for what you need today. I dare you. You might can't see it yet, but I dare you to praise him already. I tell you, I dare you rejoice. Oh, I hear the Holy Ghost and be exceedingly glad. My God. Because God's got everything you need. All right. Woo. Lord, we thank you. Yay. Bless the Lord, oh my soul. Uh, John chapter 24, our scripture lesson this afternoon. I feel God in here. Hallelujah. I feel God in here. Shema. I feel the presence of the Lord. Hallelujah. We're grateful that God does it. Woo. God shows up for us every week, GCTA. Hallelujah. I'm excited about this move of God today. Hallelujah. 20th chapter of St. John, beginning at verse number 19. Hallelujah. Mm. Glory to Jesus. Yeah. I'm going to try not to derail us already. Hallelujah. Woo. Just whisper at somebody and say, the power is here. The power is here. All right. There's power here. All right. John chapter number 20, verse number 19. Then the same day at even, evening, being the first day of the week when the doors were shut, where the disciples were assembled for fear of the Jews, came Jesus and stood in the midst said unto them peace be unto you and when he had so said he showed unto them his hands and his side then were the disciples glad when they heard or when they saw the lord then said jesus to them again peace be unto you as my father hath sent me even so send i you last verse and when he had said this he breathed on them saith unto them receive ye the holy ghost Yee! may the lord add a blessing to the hearers god help me today and the reader of his holy word hallelujah somebody just lift your hands and say lord i'm ready i'm ready i'm somebody say i'm ready to receive hallelujah you may be seated in the house of the lord glory to god hallelujah 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 well welcome to gcta hallelujah uh, i i was in prayer this week hallelujah uh, preparing for our, our our week that is ahead hallelujah and the lord just dropped in my spirit hallelujah this is the place for glory hallelujah uh, you ought to smile at somebody real quick we're going to be active today gcta smile at somebody real quick and tell them this is the place for glory yeah. you showed up on the right day hallelujah you showed up in the right hour. Hallelujah. This is the place. Help me today, God. This is the place for glory. So whatever you do, we encourage you. Amen. Open up your heart and get ready to receive on today. Hallelujah. We thank God for those that have tuned in virtually. Amen. To the live stream. May God, amen, encounter you right where you are. Hallelujah. I'm glad that we serve a God that is all places at all times. And whenever God shows up, he shows up with all power. Shows up with everything we need. 
Amen. And we're in for a move on today. Amen. GCJ, will you clap your hands and let's receive, amen, the first lady of Greater Christ Temple. Amen. Our very own Lady Patrice. She's coming to give you welcome and announcements in the name of the Lord. Praise the Lord, everybody. Praise the Lord, everybody. I was glad when they said unto me, let us go into the house of the Lord. And I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise shall continually be in my mouth. My soul shall make her boast in the Lord. The humble shall hear thereof and be glad. Oh, magnify. Hallelujah. The Lord with me. And let us exhort his name together. I like what I feel in this place today, GCTA. I said I like what I feel in this place today. God is here. Hallelujah. Woo. Let your fast work for you. It feel good. Let your fast do what it's supposed to do. Hallelujah. He can empty you out so he can fill you back up. All right. The announcements for this week, January the 28th through February the 4th. Pastor just said we're going to do a little thing. We're going to be a little bit more active this morning. All right. So we're going to do something new this morning. We welcome all of our guests and visitors. And we want GCTA to get up and go introduce yourself to a visitor, guest, give them a hug, let them know. We're glad that you came to visit us this morning. Come on, come on, GCTA. We got some visitors that came in this morning, right? We welcome you to GCTA. We thank you for visiting us today. We pray that you feel welcome. We pray that you feel love. Even the ones that's watching us virtually. We thank you for tuning in to us today. We pray that God bless your soul in Jesus' name. We thank God again. We're at the end of this month. We thank and praise God for all the January birthdays, both spiritually and naturally, and all of the wedding anniversaries. Come on, let's put our hands together for all the birthdays. This week, today, and every fourth Sunday, immediately following the high praise at high noon service, our youth fellowship begins. Ages 10 through 18, facilitated by Sister Victoria Gray. Come on, let's celebrate. I'm excited. I'm excited. I'm not even going to be here to be a part of it. I'm excited for you young people in Jesus' name. This Wednesday, January the 31st, our Back to Basics Bible study personal consecration series taught by our pastor, Elder Sean Brock. This Friday, upcoming this Friday, February the 2nd, 7 p.m. is our all members meeting, in person only, seven o'clock. Upcoming, we're back in the building and we're back to the altar prayer revival, amen. 7 p.m. nightly, Wednesday, February the 7th, Friday, February the 9th, Wednesday, February the 21st, and Friday, February the 24th. Back to the altar prayer revival. I don't know how y'all, you know, I don't know how y'all feel, but last year, it was powerful. We had some wonderful facilitators come in and share the word, share about prayer. It's needed in this day and time. Sunday, next Sunday, well, the following Sunday, February the 11th, GCTA goes to Faith, Hope, and Charity in Largo, Maryland. At 12.30 p.m. is their service. Pastor Sean will be ministering the word of God, and we, we will be in worship with Pastor George and Lady Lynette Twilly to celebrate their 14th church and pastoral anniversary. There will be no pray, no service here, high praise at high noon, we will have service at Faith, Hope, and Charity that Sunday, which is February the 11th. Amen? These are the announcements for this week. We pray that you govern yourselves accordingly and have a dynamic week in Jesus. Praise the Lord, everybody. Praise the Lord, everybody. Can you open up your mouth and give God some praise? Can you open up your mouth and give God some praise? He's a worthy God. He's a mighty God. He's a holy God. He's a righteous God. We love you, Jesus. We adore you, Jesus. We bless your name. 
you open up your mouth and give something sweet to him. He blesses us. He pours down on us. Now, can we give something back to him? As much as we receive and receive, can we give something back to him? Lord, you're worthy. We adore you. You're so worthy, Jesus. I thank you, Jesus.
Come on, somebody want that power? Yeah. I said, somebody want that power? Come on, sing it with us. Fall. Let the power Holy Ghost fall. Somebody lift your voice and say, Let the power the Holy Ghost fall. Fall on me, Jesus. Yes, Lord. Fall. We need your power, Lord. Let it fall, let it fall, let it fall. We need your power, Jesus. Fall on me, fall on me, Jesus. Somebody say, let the power, Holy Ghost, fall. I need it, I need it, I need it, I need it, I need it. Your power, Jesus. Your power, Jesus. One more time, let your power oh, fall. Anointing. Anointing. You're breaking anointing. Let it fall on me. There's only one anointing that can handle the job. Yeah. Oh my, 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 my. Pour it out on us, Jesus. Anointing. Oh. Last time. Anointing. Throw up your hands and give God a worship. Come on, right there, right there, right there. Hallelujah. Come on, this is your time to send up the fruit of your lips. Hallelujah. Trust him for the poor. Trust him for the poor. Believe God for the poor. Fresh pour, yeah, yeah, yeah. Fresh pour. Yeah. Fresh pour, yes, God. Hallelujah. 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 Come on, fill us up, God. Fill us up, God. Fill us up, Lord. Fill us up, Jesus. Hallelujah. Fill us up again. Bye, 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 bye. Yeah. There's nothing like the presence of the Lord. Listen, y'all know I love a good shout. I love a good dance. I love the expressions of praise. But there's nothing like the presence of the Lord. And every now and again, you ought to enjoy just the embrace of his presence. Yeah. Woo. Enjoy the warm embrace of the Spirit of God. Hallelujah. It's nothing like his presence. Hallelujah. Will you give God praise for our, amen, young worship leader this morning, this afternoon? Yeah. Oh, there's a sweet presence of the Lord in the room. Hallelujah. I heard Lady Patrice reference our time of consecration. Hallelujah. You should feel different by now. Hallelujah. You should feel stronger by now. You should feel closer to God by now. Yeah. Somebody should have grown up a little bit by now. My, 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 my. Your connection should be, hallelujah, strengthened by now. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hallelujah. 
the hymn of the church says consecrate me now to thy service Lord by the power of grace divine it's my favorite verse of the hymn let my soul look up with a steadfast hope God help me and my will be lost in thy somebody say draw me nearer oh my 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 nearer blessing Lord yeah 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 to the cross where thou hast died draw me nearer draw me nearer where thou not shall Whoa. nearer blessed Lord blessed Lord blessed Lord draw me to thy ever bleeding side there's a fountain filled with blood flows from Emmanuel's vein sinners plunge beneath that blood lose all their guilty lose all your guilty stains Lose them all. Somebody ought to lay some stuff down this afternoon. Lose all your guilty stains. And sinners plunge beneath that flood. It's the only way. I'm not, I feel glory. It's the only way. Sinners plunge beneath that flood. And lose all. Oh, he can wash away every one of them. What can wash away my sins? Woo! Yes, sir. Oh, precious tears that flood. That makes me. Somebody ought to be cleaned up by now. Why that slow? Woo! Somebody shake yourself and say, no other foul. No other foul I know. I wish I had a clean worshiper. Say nothing but the blood. Whoa, God help me. Nothing but the blood. Yeah, 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 yeah. I know you've been fasting, but nothing but the blood. Whoa, I shot I know you've been giving over in a time of consecration, but it's nothing but the blood. Come on, Shekomosia. Nothing but the blood. Oh, I got to move from there. I got to move. I got bye, 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 bye. Woo. Oh, yeah. It reaches from the highest mountain. And it flows to the lowest valley. I don't care where you are. The blood can get there. Yeah. The blood. Yeah. Not only does it cleanse, but it gives me strength. Yeah, 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 yeah. From day, from day, yesterday, today, tomorrow, from day to day. Send this around the room. Say it'll never, it'll never, it'll never, it'll never, it never lose. It will never, it will never. The blood of Jesus always works. It will never. Strong enough to save. Strong enough to heal. Mighty to deliver the blood, the blood, the blood, the blood. The blood of Jesus. Whoa. Hey, I'm not shy now. I feel old school in here. Somebody just sit it up your own. And back down again. Say the blood of Jesus. Whoa. God, we got to move. Whoa, summer! I dare somebody do it. Sit it all the way up and down your road. The blood of Jesus. Whoa, Shatama. You know no shire. The blood, the blood, the blood, the blood. Oh my. Lord help me. Mm-hmm. February is not here yet, but I feel travail in me. The blood of Jesus. Woo. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hold the blood. Yeah. Hold the blood. 
Oh, the blood that signed my name. Yeah. Oh, the blood. Shama. Precious blood. That I'm a shire. Yeah. I need the blood. Gotta have the blood. Thank God for the blood. Yeah. Thank God. Oh, I feel it. For the blood. Thank God for the blood. Yeah. Lord, help us, Jesus. Power in the blood. Healing in the blood. Deliverance in the blood. Yeah. Wounded, my God, help me, Jesus. For my transgressions proves that my iniquity set the chastisement of his peace is upon him and with his stripes tell somebody it had to be the blood it had to be whipped him ripped the flesh open crown of thorns on his head nails in his hands Woo! nails in his feet pierced his side it had to be the blood it had to be yeah. For what the blood of bulls and heifers could not do. I gotta move. God sent his own son. Yeah. In the likeness of sinful flesh. And for sin. He condemned sin in the flesh. It was the blood. And it still is. God help me. I said it was the blood. But somebody that took a fresh dip say it still is. Woo! Yeah. That old shot. It still is. It still works. I said the blood still works. I said the blood still works. Woo! I gotta go. What somebody? Get on my shot. It still works. Yes, it does. Somebody ought to drink from the fountain today that never runs dry. Yeah, I gotta go, man. Lord have mercy. Yep, hiya. Thank God for his blood. Yeah. Brooke, I told you you're a fire starter. Hallelujah. Yeah. That's why the devil tries you like he does. You're anointed to ignite. What? I said you're caught up. You're anointed to ignite. And the fire is here. Push them out. What am I I told you you're in for a move today. I told you. Don't you feel it? Can't you feel Jesus? Woo! Oh, I feel Jesus. Yeah. Yes, I feel, I feel it. I feel it. I feel it. I, I said yes. Somebody ought to testify. I feel it. I feel Jesus. I feel Jesus. Yeah. I feel Jesus. Yeah. It ain't the weather, it's not the rain. <laughs> yeah, it's not emotions, it's not charisma, it's Jesus. Woo! My, 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 my. All right, Lord. Woo! Lord, hit every family in the room. Shabbat. I said his family first, Jesus said, God hit every God, every household with this anointing. Yeah. I feel like running. I said, God hit every household. Somebody ought to take this 
and give it back to your family that didn't show up today. But come on, get some more, get some more. Take it all in. Take it all in. I'ma carry this home with me. I'ma carry this back to my mother. Carry it back to my brother. Carry it back home with you. Same God. Same anointing. Yeah. All right. One man, 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 man. Oh, yeah. Lord Jesus. Glory to God. 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 What I know about God is He's already working. Hallelujah. He doesn't need the part in the service where we just say, you can come to the altar. I said, God's already working. I need you to prophesy to somebody. Tell them, God's already working. Tell them on your behalf. Woo! Some of y'all didn't say it. Your neighbor needs to hear it. Open your mouth and tell somebody, God's already working. Yeah. Tell them, say on your behalf. Yeah. I hear the Holy Ghost. He's doing it for you. Shut up. Woo! Hey, yeah, yeah, yeah. Woo! I'm moving, I'm moving. But if you feel the presence of the Lord, you ought to shout back at that neighbor and say, I know he's doing it for me. I feel him. I feel Jesus. Woo! Shama! He's doing it for me. You ought to put your faith in action and declare it over your whole family. He's doing it for me. He's doing it. He's doing it. And any way you bless me, Lord, I will be satisfied. One of these days, we might get through a, 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 a church service with just going from one thing to the next. But can I be honest? I hope we don't. <laughs> we might get there one day, but I, 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 if I could be honest, I, I hope we never get there. I like this kind of God. God that shows up, hallelujah. And I promise you, as long as the Lord allows me to lead this work, hallelujah, we're always going to go with God. Did you hear me? we always going to go with God. If you're looking for a place, hallelujah, that when the Lord shows up, hallelujah, we say yes, it's right here. I tell y'all, I tell y'all all the time, I'm a church baby. I didn't played enough church, been in enough church, shown up year after year, Sunday after Sunday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday night, Saturday. I've had enough church to last me all eternity. Yeah, but I thank God for glory experience. See, when we get on the other side, we're not going to have an order of service. <laughs> it's going to be only one thing going on. I, I. So if you don't like God having his way, you might not want to go over there. My. Well, if you, if you don't like feeling the presence of the Lord, I say he's going to be on full display over there. I like this kind of church. Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, run, Tiana. You better run. You better run. He restored my soul. I said he was. Oh, God, help me. He restores my soul. I need this. I need this. I need it. I need it. I need it. I need it. I need. It. I need it. 
You don't might not want it, but I need it. You might try to do it without it, but I need it. I need it, I need it, I need it. Woo! I need God just like this. Woo! I said I need him just like this. Yay! God help me today. How ya? I got victory. Yeah. Whoa, whoa, whoa. So, victory. Oh. Victory. Victory is mine. Say it again. Victory. Victory. I dare you open up your mouth and say Victory is mine. Whoa. Victory. I got it. Victory. And the world didn't give it to me. And it never will take it away. Victory is mine. Victory. Say it. Victory. Victory. Yeah. Victory. Everybody say it. Gotta let it go. We gotta let it go. Victory, my, 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 my. Victory, my. Victory, Somebody say, I got it. I got it. <laughs> oh my, my, my. I got the victory. Tell me who can stand before us. Y'all didn't hear me. We prayed this morning. Jesus. Jesus. Precious Jesus. We have. Come on, glory carriers. We have. Let no one escape this victory. We have. Every family, every household. We have the victory. Hallelujah. God bless you this afternoon. My God. Hallelujah. Nothing like the Lord. Glory to God. And we thank Him. Hallelujah. Jesus, precious Jesus, yeah. somebody ought to clap your hands, don't, 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 don't get up, don't get up, just clap your hands, and thank God for victory, Woo. thank God for victory, thank God for victory, I hear something echoing in my spirit from last week. The devil tried what God did. And the crazy thing is, the devil gonna keep trying. But somebody ought to declare, I already got the victory. Hold on to your victory, saints. Hallelujah. God bless us. Hallelujah. Let's get ready to give real quickly. My, 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 my. I think this is a good place to give. Woo! said, I think this is a good place to give. Hallelujah. Yeah. God, I ain't got my millions yet, but I think I'll give you something to show I'm appreciative. Lord, I wish somebody grab a hold of that real quick. 
I may not have all of the promise yet, but I, I got enough to tell you. Thank you. Bible declares the Lord loves a cheerful giver. My God, hallelujah. This not a time, amen, to let your praise drop down. Amen. In fact, it ought to be a time to go a little bit higher. Hallelujah. My, my, my uncle, brother, <laughs> Bishop <laughs> Gregory Twilley says, this is the opportunity you get to actually show God something. Hallelujah. Hear me. God doesn't need your money. Let me help y'all. God doesn't need your money. But when remember we taught in the fundamental truth series, amen, that tithing and offering, amen, is a heart thing. God is looking at your heart. Hallelujah. I can't tell you how you feel about God. <laughs> Hear me. Because here, let me put some Bible in here real quick. The woman that gave her two mites, her, it, it was a little compared to some of the other gifts that came in. But that little bit, hallelujah, was received by God as more because of the condition in which she gave it. I'm not here to inspect, amen, the amount you're giving today. I will tell you, let your heart talk to God as you give. Yeah. You can't give what you don't have. And I'm not asking you and never will ask you to give a man what's bill money. Your mortgage, your rent, that already has a name on it. Y'all ain't talking in here. Hallelujah. Your light, your water, that already got a name on it. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. But your tithe should already have a name on it too. It ain't, it ain't Brock either. Hallelujah. Your, my God, your tithes should already have a It's already set aside because I'm in covenant relationship with God. That's, that belongs to him. That belong, somebody say that belongs to him. Hallelujah. And then because he keeps on blessing me, I just want to put some extra on it. God, I need you. Hallelujah. I said, I just want to put some extra on it, God. I can't pay you for it, but let me let me just show you. I thank you. Hallelujah. Whether it's a 10, a 20, a 100, hallelujah, I don't care what your gift is. Amen. Get ready to give. Amen. If you're in the building and you, amen, need an envelope, amen, just raise your hand, sister. April, our amen greeter will bless you with that envelope. Amen. This is your week of increase, GCTA. Glory carrier. Amen. Listen, don't walk around here talking about I'm a glory carrier and you don't tithe. I'm sorry, pastor just slipped in the room. Don't walk around here talking about I'm a glory carrier and you don't tithe. Hallelujah. Oh, we'll, we'll shout some more. Y'all know it comes, it comes and I don't stop it. But don't call yourself a glory, not over here. And you're not a tither, amen, because it's about covenant relationship, amen. Everybody that's getting ready to give, amen, whatever you are giving today. If you're in the virtual space, amen, and you're sowing today, we thank God for you, amen. Make some noise for those in the virtual space, GCTA, hallelujah. If you're in the virtual space and you're sowing this afternoon, Given information is up on your screen, amen. If you're in the building and you want to sew electronically, you can do so via Cash App, dollar sign GCTA. Uh, PayPal is at GCTA Ministries. You're able to do that on today. Brother Elisha, come grab the basket for me, please, young man. Hallelujah. It's family first, amen. We thank God for our young people that are in the house. Hallelujah. God bless you. God bless you just God just God hallelujah amen we thank God amen if you're ready to give stand to your feet and say I'm ready to give all right listen if you don't have anything tangible to bring but your heart would love to give I want you to stand to and say I'm ready to give and by faith declare I'm gonna give next time hallelujah Come on, everybody that's giving today, stand to your feet. 
let us consecrate our gifts to the Lord. Father, we thank you for your blessings, for your ways that you've made, for the victory you've given unto us. Lord, we cannot pay you, but we certainly can show you that we're grateful. We thank you for all that you have already done for us, and for the doors and the windows of heaven that are being opened even now to your people. Father, bless now these gifts. Receive them, Lord God, as we give them with cheerfulness and gratitude. I pray, God, that you will respond and bless your people. Return unto them 100-fold. Oh, God, I pray you will destroy the devourer for your name's sake. In the name of Jesus, bless those that have to give, those that desire, but God don't have it. I pray you will, oh, God, bless them that they can give at the next appointed time. We praise you for these and all blessings, and we command the blessings of the Lord. Be upon your people now, and we declare it is so in Jesus' name. Amen. Just come from wherever you are. Amen. Walk, walk, walk. Bring your gift. Bring your device. Touch the basket in the name of the Lord. Keep slow doing great things for me. Oh, keep on doing great things for me. Somebody help me sing. Keep on doing great things for me. Oh, keep on doing great things for me if I had ten thousand I'd use every one of them just to praise his name one more time everybody say he keeps on he keeps on your hands and give God praise everybody God we thank you for this moment in time that you blessed us with thank you for your people that now gather Lord God waiting to hear from you God we can do nothing without you it's not by power nor is it by might it's not with eloquent speech it's not with the understanding of man or the wisdom of this world but it is simply by your spirit God your word it's spirit and it's life so now speak your word Jesus let it go forth out of this vessel anoint us afresh God with your power and your glory we will declare what you have already released from heaven God that you will use us to transmit it into the hearts and minds of your people God deposit this word deep within us that we might live hallelujah that we might live God send a word that we might live might have life and abundant life we might live victoriously God we might live as hallelujah conquering saints power over all the power of the enemy and nothing let it not even come nigh us let it not hurt us let it not harm us but with this word we will walk in victory we will stand in power we would declare that you are the God that does it all. We give you praise now. We glorify you forever. It is in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 1 Corinthians chapter number 15. 1 Corinthians chapter number 15. To all of our guests in the room, God bless you this afternoon. Hallelujah. GCTA, one more time, will you make some noise for our visitors that are here in the house? Thank you. Thank you for coming and worshiping with us. We pray that God blesses you really, really good, really good. Hallelujah. Amen. Thank God for the staff here, the media staff, to the, amen, the musicians. God bless you on today. We thank God for you. One verse out of the 15th chapter of 1 Corinthians, the 10th verse. 10th verse. 
1 Corinthians chapter number 15, the word of the Lord reads as thus. But by the grace of God, I am what I am. And his grace which was bestowed upon me was not in vain. But I labored more abundantly than they all. Yet not I, but the grace of God which was with me. 1 Corinthians 15 and 10 says, But by the grace of God, I am what I am. And his grace which was bestowed upon me was not in vain. But I labored more abundantly than they all. Yet not I, but the grace of God which was with me. GCT, you know your pastor by now for the last time. The 10th verse of the 15th chapter of 1 Corinthians. But by the grace of God. Somebody say, I am what I am. And his grace which was bestowed upon me was not in vain. But I labored more abundantly than they all. Yet not I, but the grace of God, which was with me this afternoon. I want to share with you from this subject, is it in vain? Is it in vain? You may be seated, but will you just respond to that question and say, it's not all in vain. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Aiden's on his way. Hallelujah. I'm sure he would be reminded when his first church solos, amen, was that of the Clark sisters, amen, is my living in vain, is my giving in vain. Uh, no, of course not. It's not all in vain, hallelujah. Uh, I, and I just wanted to get that out there in case you, amen, got a, a brain like mine that thinks in song and lyrics, but we're not, amen, that's not the perspective of the message on today, hallelujah. Just want to get that out the way so you can go ahead and hum that tune and move on, hallelujah. Hallelujah. <laughs> Today, amen, we're talking, amen, about this, amen, great man of God uh, that is authored this book of Corinthians, the man of God, amen, by the name of Paul. Paul, amen, is a very interesting individual. Paul, amen, is one, amen, that has many colorful stories in the Bible. He is the author of most of the New Testament, at least he's credited with authoring most of the New Testament. Uh, Paul's life is filled with experiences and stories uh, that today still, amen, are intriguing and interesting. Uh, Paul, amen, it is Paul that we, amen, see locked up in jail with his, amen, his co-companion laborer in the gospel of Silas. Uh, the Bible says at midnight they sang and they prayed while being locked up. And an earthquake shook the entire prison that every man's bands were loosed. All of the prison doors were open. In fact, this occasion, a man, even the jailer was scared to a man that he was going to lose his job and his life because the power of God set everybody free. God, I feel glory already. Hallelujah. Paul, amen. It's Paul, amen, that had another, amen, co-laborer in Barnabas. Him and Barnabas, amen, were assigned ministry together. They go and travel. At one point, they had one young person with them by the name of John Mark. John Mark got homesick, and Paul got upset with him. Paul sends him back home, amen. In fact, the reason reason why Paul is with Silas is because, amen, Barnabas had the compassion to go grab John Mark and put him back on the ministry trail. Have you ever, amen, felt like you just wanted to take a break from doing what God called you to do? Have you ever felt like, I, I just need to take a sabbatical as I was talking to one of my brethren last night. I just need a break. I need a, I need a moment to breathe. It, this laboring stuff. And John Mark, amen, was a novice. He didn't know how to to endure hardness as a good soldier. And Paul, amen, had no time for that. <laughs> he said, go ahead and deal with him, Barnabas. I, I ain't got time for that. Paul continued on with Silas. It's Paul that was a prisoner, amen, a good portion of his ministry life.
life, amen, we read about him as a prisoner, prisoner on a ship many times. This particular time, he tells them we should not get on the boat, but they got on the boat anyway. There's a great storm that causes the ship to be broken up, but because Paul is so anointed, because Paul has purpose, because Paul, amen, carries the glory of God, he tells them not one of us is going to be lost. I need somebody in here, amen, to thank God for the glory carrier that, amen, prayed you through for the one that was anointed, amen, for you to be connected to that where the enemy would have swallowed you up quick. It was the spirit of the Lord in your brother, in your sister, in your auntie, in your neighbor, in your pastor that carried you through the storm. And even if you had to get across on broken pieces, somebody say, I made it. Uh, it's Paul that ends up on the island, Melita, amen, and the barbarians are ready to, amen, kill him and all of those that were shipwrecked on the coast. But as he was fixing a fire, a venomous beast attaches itself to him. He shakes it off. Hallelujah. Bible says nothing shall by any means hurt us because we have power to tread on serpents, to tread on scorpions, and over all the power of the enemy. The Bible says it's Paul that shakes off the venomous beast into the fire and because the barbarians see this miraculous move they were waiting for him to die he stood there strong and now he's able to witness God to them hallelujah because he's walking in power it's Paul that even though he's a prisoner ends up on Mars Hill and because Paul is so educated Paul has uh, the ability to speak many different languages Paul knows the customs of different cultures are uh, Mars Hill has all of these statues and idols erected and one they have to the unknown God and Paul because he's anointed is able to use their idol gods their statues their inscriptions and are able to preach Jesus I need somebody that carries the glory of God that has the power of the Holy Ghost that will not be ashamed of the gospel of everywhere you go you ought to be able to say Jesus everywhere you step foot you ought to be able to carry your God with you hallelujah in the grocery store on the playground at school hallelujah in your home in your neighborhood somebody say you ought to carry God everywhere that you go Paul is uniquely positioned for the ministry that he was assigned he's a Roman citizen by birth the Bible lets us know that he's a Pharisee his father was a Pharisee uh -huh. uh, he was taught at the feet of Gamaliel he has great uh, teachings and trainings under the Jewish religion and customs. Uh, Paul is very well versed in the law. He is very well, very well versed in customs of many different cultures. He is very well versed in many different languages and is able to communicate to the common man, to amen, to the king that he was before, to a jailer, to amen, the aristocrats, the Sadducees. Paul is uniquely positioned, but Paul is an interesting individual because the Paul that we celebrate even in the church today is not the Paul that we are introduced to when we first read about him in the Bible. In fact, it's Paul, amen, that is a young man, hallelujah, that we, amen, as they were stoning, hallelujah, Stephen, he's holding their coats. And the book of Acts chapter number eight, verse number one says that Paul consents unto Stephen's death. Help me, God, hallelujah. It's Paul, amen, that while he's watching them stone uh, this servant of the Lord. Amen. It's Paul that consents unto their death and then if you read further the Bible says hallelujah that great persecution then begins to hit the church at the stoning of Stephen. Paul amen is now because he's a Hebrew of Hebrews. He believes that these Christians these new sect of religious hallelujah people who are not religious they're sanctified. Mm. They're not religious. They've been washed in the blood. I need somebody in the room uh, uh, to know we're not just church folk. We are, hallelujah, we are the called. We are the elect. We carry not just the glory, but the spirit. Uh, I wish I had a Holy Ghost witness in the room. We carry the spirit of God on the inside. I, I don't just attend church. I am the church. 
God help me. Hallelujah. I am the church. Somebody say, I am the church. Hallelujah. And the Bible says in the 8th chapter, hallelujah, uh, that it is, hallelujah, Saul at this time. Uh, it's his, hallelujah, it's his Hebrew name. Paul is his Greek name. Hallelujah. It's Saul at this time. The Bible says that made havoc of the church. Uh, he goes about entering into homes and grabbing Christians up and, amen, putting them in prison and locking them up. It's Paul, uh-huh, the one that we, amen, honor and reverence as hallelujah the author of many epistles it's Paul before his conversion that same man hallelujah had a zeal that after God but not after understanding Paul Saul as we call him hallelujah that goes into homes arresting Christians in fact the Bible says uh, that he goes to the high priest and gets papers that backs up his ability to persecute the church of the living God I'm telling you Saul is an interesting person uh, chapter 9 of Acts says uh, that Paul breathes out slaughtering and threatenings against the children of God the disciples uh, he gets documents to go and then he finds himself on his way to Damascus to do it again God help me uh, this man has such zeal this man has such disdain uh, for Christians because uh, he believes that they are a heretic sect he believes believes hey amen that Jesus was not God he believes with everything inside of him that he is doing what is right because watch this of his traditions because of how he was taught because of his Jewish heritage hallelujah let me share what Ryan Nelson shares about Paul he says as a Pharisee before his conversion to Christianity Paul saw Christians who were predominantly Jewish in the first century as a scourge against Judaism. Paul, a man's perspective is that these people are blaspheming about God and leading God's people astray. He believed that Jesus was just a mere man. He believed that therefore rightfully he was, Jesus was executed because he was blaspheming God. Uh, and since Jesus' followers kept spreading the truth and the idea that Jesus was indeed and in fact God Paul thought Christians were sinners of the worst sort. I came to tell you, hallelujah, that if you're not careful, church will make you believe that God is not God hallelujah to God I came to tell you that religion will confuse you about who Jesus really is. Uh, I'm going to work a little bit today, y'all. I came to tell somebody, hallelujah, that if you're not careful, the tradition of man will cloud your mind to the fact that God is a loving God, that he gave his only begotten son, watch this, that whosoever will, tradition will make you think that you are unqualified for the love of God. But I came here to stand as an anointed vessel to to tell you the devil is a liar. Yeah, God, I tell your neighbor he loves you too. God. God, my, my, my. I feel glory. Hallelujah. Uh, Y'all didn't say it right. Find somebody else and tell him he love God loves you too. <laughs> Hallelujah. Much of what we know about Paul, what much about what we learn about Paul, hallelujah, comes directly from Paul himself in his own writings, in the epistles. We see Paul testifying about his own life. We see Paul talking about, watch this, the good and the bad. He talks about his heritage. He talks about his citizenship. He talks about his training. He talks about his religious pedigree. Paul, in an effort to describe who he was, was a man tells the full story God help me hallelujah in an effort to show how God has blessed his life he tells the whole story I don't like uh, those church folk uh, that try to make you think they've always been saved I don't like uh, when ch God help me I don't like when church folk try to make you believe they've never made a mistake since being saved I, God help me in here I, I, I don't like those religious uh, pious and self-righteous folk who act like they are God's chosen and they've never done anything that made God want to come after them. God help me in here. Hallelujah. If you're going to tell the story, tell somebody, tell the whole story. 
Hallelujah. And Paul tells the whole story because it's in the details of the story, help me, that the fullness of the glory of God is revealed. It's it. Hallelujah. Paul is actually sent to a people who don't care anything about his Jewish heritage. They, he's sent to a people who don't care too much about whether or not he was a Pharisee or not. He, he's actually sent to minister to people, amen, watch this, that the Jews call outsiders. They're barbarians. They're, in fact, Paul even references them as heathens. <laughs> Hallelujah. He's sent to a people who don't really know what it means for Paul, amen, to keep the law, to be, amen, as the Bible says, as he kept the law, he was found blameless. <laughs> he doesn't mean anything that his father was a Pharisee to the people that Paul was sent to. Can I tell you, everybody, and that God will put in your path is not going to understand church language then they're not gonna God help me I feel glory they're not gonna understand church protocol they're not gonna look like you they're not gonna sound like you they're not gonna act like God help me everybody that God puts in your path is not gonna be the one that you can just speak in tongues to and they're gonna feel the glory somebody you need to tell the whole story to Hallelujah. It's in fact Paul, amen, who sent to the Gentile nation who don't care nothing about his upbringing, but he tells them because he wants to see, wants them to see the richness of the glory of God on his life. He wants them to see how good God's grace is to him. Hallelujah. Can I tell you, stop trying to get people to celebrate your accomplishments, your family name, your your spiritual legacy I don't talk much about amen the fact amen that my father is a pastor and was a pastor a bishop in the Lord's church my grandfather my great grandfather you want to know why because none of that saved me uh, hallelujah uh, oh, oh yeah I thank God for the legacy of my uh, of my forefathers uh, in fact it's because of them that I came to know who Jesus is uh, but that legacy didn't save me uh, I got saved at 10 and still backslid that legacy didn't keep me God uh, that legacy didn't restore it was the love and the grace somebody say it's the grace of God it was the grace of God that held back back time it was the grace of God that held back church it was the grace of God that put a pause on my punishment and gave me enough time to get my silly self together to come running back to him God heal me hallelujah and I'm cool and I just want to thank you I feel glory now. <laughs> and I check it. And God, I, I'm sorry, excuse me a moment. And Lord, I just want to thank you for being so good to me when I should already be in hell. It was the grace of God. God help me. It wasn't my father being a pastor. It wasn't my grandfather being a great teacher of the word. It was the grace of God. I thank God for every prayer, for every intercessor. I thank God for my mama who fasted and prays for me. But it was the grace of God. Hallelujah. That's why I have no problems. Watch this. I have no problems telling you that I ain't always do God right. I have no problems telling you, amen, where I messed up. I have no problems telling you that I was a sinner. I have no, watch this, because when God saved me, he saved me from myself. And I ain't trying to hide and make you feel like I'm perfect. I'm just a recipient of of the grace of God I don't have no problems telling you the whole story because hallelujah watch this because my sinful state wasn't the end of the story God I feel Jesus hallelujah my backslidden state was not the end I ain't got no problem telling the whole story because he's still writing out his glory on my life if it had not been for Jesus where would I I'm so glad that the Lord saved 
me. Hallelujah. So stop trying to get people to celebrate your accomplishments. Celebrate, hallelujah, your legacy, your family name. It really doesn't mean anything because it's not by works, the Bible says, lest any man should boast. For by, oh God, Ooh, I feel Jesus. For by grace are you saved. I said it's grace. Grace that drew you. Grace that touched your mind. Grace that gave you space and opportunity. And not just one time, but again and again. After you messed up the last time, which was your 46,000th and 51st time, he gave grace again. God, I thank you. Somebody ought to open your mouth in this house and thank God for grace. I thank you. Yeah. Hallelujah. Paul is trying to get them to understand. Uh, not he's not telling a story to pump himself up he's not talking about his pedigree to get them to try to feel like he has uh, the qualifications he is trying to get them to understand uh, how great the grace of God is uh, they weren't concerned with his title uh, uh, they're not going to be concerned about uh, what you do in church uh, oh God help me uh, they're going to see how you live in the streets uh, they not gonna oh my 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 they're not oh god they're not gonna understand hallelujah your church title but they'll understand if you walk in the blood of the lamb and his name is all over your life there and paul is just really trying to build a case in support of the gospel that he's sharing with them in fact in the corinthians he had to always go back hallelujah and almost retrain them because they had a problem that even after they were saved huh, there was all of these different oppositions that came to them huh, these different false doctrines that would come to them huh, and Paul had to remind them that huh, uh, the gospel that you already believed huh, and was saved unto huh, is the gospel of nothing changed huh, just cause somebody showed up with a flashy huh, face and a smile that made you feel like they were the best thing since huh, uh, the, the coming of the Lord I need you to understand uh, if an angel comes from heaven uh, and preaches to you any other gospel uh, let it be a curse it's only one way uh, I feel apostolic anointing on me uh, a one 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 uh, and I can't change it even if I wanted to uh, and I don't care how long you've been uh, outside of the will of God uh, tell your neighbor it's grace for that uh, I can't change it just because uh, I want to make you for us to my standards I can't change it because you don't look like me I can't change it because you won't conform to my understanding but Paul was more concerned that they received the grace of God than his Jewish upbringing Paul was more concerned the grace of God uh -huh, than his ability to follow the law and keep it. Paul amen even got Peter together one time. Peter showed up amen where the Gentiles were. They were saved but Peter distanced himself when James uh -huh, the apostle to Jerusalem came and showed up to Peter distanced himself. Paul said don't do that. He publicly rebuked him because if you are born of the water and the spirit in Christ there's neither Jew nor Gentile uh -huh, there's neither male nor female I tell your neighbor your past doesn't matter in Christ your name doesn't matter in Christ your title doesn't matter in Christ for in Christ if any man be in Christ I feel called in here he is a new a creature old things what you used to do I hear the songwriter say I looked at my hands and they look new looked at my feet and they did too well I don't know about you but my hands still look the same to me but I know I've been changed 
I know I've been changed. There's been a change on the inside. I don't walk how I used to walk. I don't talk how I used to talk. I used to be one that looked to lie every chance I could get. But when he saved me, he filled me with his spirit. And out of my mouth, I began to speak as the spirit gave utterance. It wasn't just an unknown tongue, but it changed my lying tongue to speak the truth I feel God. He changed my eyes that all I see is God in some I can't penny pinch or nitpick I can't criticize or critique your life cause I know that if it had not been for the grace of God I'd already be in here I'd already be dead I'd already be suffering I'd already be in torment but somebody help the preacher and say thank God for grace Paul is talking to the Corinthians and he's telling them that the gospel that was preached it's the same gospel that you receive and it has not changed see the difference between a Pharisee and the Sadducees the Pharisees believed in the resurrection and the body would be coming back and the Bible says that the dead in Christ will rise first and we which are alive and remain will be caught up I wish I had a Holy Ghost child of God that's looking for the day that the trumpet will sound and the sky will crack and the appearing of the Lord and we'll all be caught up whether we're resting and sleeping like bishop or we're alive and remain like shepherd mother we all will be caught up to meet him I gotta move on from that but I'll be caught up to meet him caught up to meet him joy and happiness will be mine we're gonna meet in glory and then we'll tell the full story somebody witness to your neighbor and say I'm gonna be caught up yeah. Uh, yeah, 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 I need you to declare it. Uh, tell somebody else uh, I'm gonna be caught up. Uh, Paul is trying to handle this disagreement uh, between the Pharisees and the Sadducees uh, that has crept into the Corinthian church. Uh, and they are trying to figure out uh, if they believe in the resurrection. Uh, he says, Well, the gospel that was preached uh, is about the death burial. Uh, and resurrection of Jesus. Paul tells him that if he didn't get up, then the gospel is in vain. If he did not get up, then your salvation is in vain. If he didn't get up, then am I alive in Christ? If he didn't get up, then would death still have a sting? Would grave still have victory? But since he got up, he got up with all power. Heaven and earth in his hand. Snatch the key. God help me in here. Death, hell, and the grave. And he gave gifts to men. And he told his disciples, go to Jerusalem and wait there. In fact, he got up, showed them the nail prints in his his hands show them the nail prints in his feet somebody say he got up he got up and he's yet alive can I get somebody before I close this message to stand on your feet and say I know he's alive I know he's alive God's not dead he's yet alive 
Feel them all over me. Y'all can be seated. Paul is handling this disagreement and says if Jesus did not get up, then the gospel that we preach is in vain. He says, but you know of a surety that you have been changed. You believed and you received. You were washed in the blood of the crucified one. He said, if he didn't rise, then there is no resurrection and there's no hope beyond this life. But I need somebody to know that this world is not my home. You can have fortune and fame. You can have your name in light. You can have mansion, money, and cars. And I'll take Jesus for mine. You can have the wealth of Saudi Arabia. You can have the popularity of the former president. You can have the children of all of Nick Cannon babies. But I'll take Jesus for mine. And when I got him, he gave me something that the world couldn't give me. He gave me something that this world couldn't satisfy. He gave me something that my wife couldn't give me. He gave me something I feel Jesus my mama couldn't give me thank God for my daddy but he gave me something all my daddy's preaching couldn't do all my daddy's praying couldn't do he gave me something that was just for me can I preach for you and tell you God's got his spirit just for you I know you were sitting amongst a great cloud of witnesses but I came to tell you he that believeth he that receiveth shall have everlasting life somebody say yes I got it I got it, I got it. Everlasting God. Everlasting life. And because I got it, I can reject the lies of the enemy. Even if it shows up in the house of God that tries to tell me there is no resurrection. Paul says, if he be not risen, I'll come into churches in vain. Our preaching is in vain. Our faith is in vain. But tell your neighbor, it's not in vain. It's not in vain. If the dead won't rise, then there'll be no great getting up morning. If Jesus didn't get up, then my sins are still on me. The stench of my iniquity is still upon me. But when he got up, he got up with power. And he got up to wash away my sins with the blood that he shed. See, hallelujah. If Jesus was only to die, he'd be like all the bulls, all the heifers, all the calves, all the lambs, all the doves, all the animals that were shed. Their blood was shed in the Old Testament, but they never, hallelujah, could take away the sin. They tried to cover it, but because they couldn't take it away, they had to sacrifice year after year. And I'm glad Jesus' blood was shed once and for all. And the same blood that dripped down his skull on the cross of Calvary. I said the same blood that came out of his side when they pierced him. I said the same blood that rolled off his back 
and wet up his garment that they cast lots for I said the same blood yeah. that blinded his eyes that got into his beard the same blood that was in that body over 2,000 years ago is the same blood that has the power to save today I came to tell you he did die he did yes he did if I was in a Baptist church I'd say it like this didn't he die he died didn't he die but I'm at the study and I know he didn't just die but he got up that's not how the story is three days later I feel Jesus he rose again and he got up and so there is a resurrection and my preacher's not in vain I got a hope beyond this world I got a hope beyond the grave but Paul is talking to a church hallelujah that doesn't know his story but can I tell you what God put in my spirit to tell you don't you ever forget where you came from don't you forget your testimony don't you forget how way down you were before he picked you up and I'm glad his arm was long enough to reach me after I got saved he could have let me spiral out of control when I backslid he could have let me go after my own lust but he kept coming after me his love kept chasing me and his grace was still available to me I came to tell you whoever you are there's grace for you there's grace for your sin and your iniquity grace for your problems grace for your mess ups grace for your stumbles grace for your falls grace 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 there's grace for you and when God saves you tell the whole story when he restores you tell the whole story when he brings you back tell the whole story when he makes you new tell the whole story it's hard for Paul to talk about the goodness of God and not go back to where he came from that's why he repeats it in many books of the Bible because he couldn't help himself when he started thinking of the goodness of his Savior I don't know how you can be saved by his power divine how you can be saved through life supply and not remember that it wasn't always like this I used to be drunk I used to be high I used to be out of my mind I used to want to kill myself I used to want to fornicate I used to want to give up I used to want to do a whole lot of things but his grace that was given unto me is not in vain because now that I'm walking right I'll tell the story now that I'm living right I'll say look where he brought me from brought me out of darkness into this marvelous light somebody tell your neighbor look 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 where he brought me from he saved me from this 
rescued me from that, delivered me from that, healed me of this, my family problems and generational curses. He broke the times when the enemy got a hold of my mind and made me want to go crazy made me want to give up on life he grabbed my mind and grace showed me there's a peace that surpasses all I feel like preaching it here thank God his grace would let me go and if you're in the room today I came to tell you don't let his grace be in vain is it in vain no of course not his grace ain't in vain but this is why Paul could say that it wasn't in vain because Paul said I didn't just get saved and sit in church and do nothing I didn't just get saved and act like I already arrived but I got saved, Paul said, and I did more work than all the rest of them. I worked more than Peter. I worked more than John. I did more than James. But Paul also had an understanding. He was quick to put this in there. It wasn't I, but the same grace that saved me is the grace that worked through me. I came to preach to somebody. I'm sorry, Brother Hunter, I'm moving. I came to preach to somebody and let you know that telling your story it's got to be more than pumping yourself up. Telling your story has to be more than trying to make yourself look good. It ain't my goodness, but the mercies of the Lord that I'm standing here today. If I were like man, I would have failed. I would have fought. Matter of fact, I did fall. And I did falter, but because of grace, I'm standing here, not to make you see me, but to show you his glory. Paul said, I did more work, but it wasn't me, it was the grace that worked with me and it's not all in vain Paul would go on after being saved he was beaten with 39 stripes multiple times he was locked up on more than one occasion he was stoned and left for dead but Paul got up to he was shipwrecked he was bitten by venomous beasts he was lied on they committed conspired against him the Sadducees said called to the high priest said get Paul from the Romans and when they send him back it was 40 men that had made an oath we not gonna eat or drink until we kill Paul what are you saying preacher you can have a whole bunch of people that come up against you but the grace that saved you is the grace that will keep you the grace that delivered is the grace that will cover the grace that restores is the grace that redeems grace 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 I got grace God, I feel it in here. Ah, God, thank God for grace. I said, thank God for grace. I said, thank God. Ah, Y'all ain't praising him like I need you to. I said, thank God. Listen, whether you're saved or not, everybody can thank God for grace. Because, oh God, because I'm here as a living witness that the grace ain't for the perfect. The grace ain't for the sanctified. The grace is for me and you who need grace to bring us out of where we were. But we need grace because if he leaves, let grace leave me. 
I'll go back to where I was, but no turning back. Why? Because I got grace to tell the story that it's not over for you. It ain't, I feel God right there. It ain't over for you. It ain't, I feel the Holy Ghost. I need you to say it to somebody. Look them in the eye and tell them what God said. Say, God said, oh, it ain't over for you. Testify to somebody else and say, God said, it ain't over for you. There's still grace. There's still grace. God, I feel it in here. There's still. There's still grace. I gotta let y'all go, but I feel it now. There's still grace. The grace didn't die. The grace, hallelujah, didn't go back with him to heaven. But the grace is right here. It's right here, right now. Because it's with grace that I stand preaching to you now. It's with grace. I hate that folk have church hurt from Christians that are condemning, from Christians that are high minded, from Christians that act like they saved themselves. But I came to tell you today, I didn't save myself. So I ain't looking down on you. I'm looking at you with the eyes of God and telling you there's grace. There's more grace. I said there's more grace. Shake yourself and praise God for more grace. And I just came to answer my own question. Is it in vain? It ain't in vain, cause I will be an example of what grace can do. It ain't in vain, cause I will not be ashamed of the gospel of Jesus Christ. It is, it is, it is the power of God unto salvation everyone that believeth he that believeth she that believeth you shall have everlasting life I said everlasting life and that's what Paul understood is that we need grace to access everlasting life we need grace because the sentence of sin is to die it's to be dead not just spiritually but naturally for the wages of sin it is death but yeah, but I need you to stop somebody and tell them, but God, the gift of God. If I know you're going the wrong way, but let me just tell you something. The gift of God. I know you feel hurt. You feel messed up and abused. But the gift of God, you ain't got to earn it. You ain't got to pay for it. You just got to ask. He that believes he that receive it yeah, ask and it shall be given seek you will find that he's not you even in your mouth i feel the holy ghost in here i came to preach to a house they'll tell you let not the grace of god be in vain tell your story Tell it all that God's grace is able to deliver. God's grace is able to set free. God's grace is able to rescue. God's grace is forever. His long suffering 
is patient, it's kind, and it's available. I said it's available. I said it's available. His grace, His grace is available. Is it in vain? I need somebody to look at somebody and ask him, is it in vain? Is the grace of God in vain? Is it in vain? I wish I had a whole church that would say no. Of course not. Yeah. Oh, I feel something pushing me. Ain't no wasted glory over here. I said, ain't no wasted glory over here. It ain't in vain. You need me to show somebody how good God is? Here's my story. It ain't in vain. I'll be the one, Sister Hunter. I'll be the one, not just to tell you, thank you, God, but I'll go get somebody else. Tell them, come see about a man that told me all my deeds. Come see about a God. That love me in spite of myself. I'll be the one. Come see about somebody. Turn my life around. Somebody throw your hands up and thank God for grace. I said, throw your hands up and thank God for grace. Come on, Shanda Masia. Where would I be yeah, without your grace? Yeah. I'm getting ready to pray. I feel glory. I'm getting ready to pray. Yeah. Yeah. I need you to pause real quick. Yeah. And start thinking about where you know you were. Where you know you should be. My God, y'all can stay there, Chris. Yeah, God. I need, I need you just take a, a few moments uh, and start thinking about where you should be. Woo. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Yeah. Oh, I feel God. Uh, yeah. Ain't no real glory, Carrie. You're going to be able to do that for too long and not lose it in prayer. I said, think about where you should be. God, help me. Come on, online. Think about where you should be. Yeah. Right now. I said right now I should be. Uh, God. If you're in this section where you know you shouldn't be here, not one of us in this room should. God. <laughs> but grace. Oh, I feel, there it is. It's hitting the house now. Y'all better let God do what he want to do. I said, but grace. Woo, shot tire. Woo. But grace. I feel it now. But grace, but grace, but grace. Thank you, Holy Ghost. God just told me to open up the door and let whoever wants grace come on in. Hey, yeah, hey, hey. yeah, I feel it, I feel it, I feel it, I feel it. Oh, Jesus, thank God for grace. Listen. I don't have any power of myself Paul was very clear he said I did more than all of those other ones he said but it wasn't me it was the grace that was with me I came to tell you there's grace on me right now that whoever needs grace whoever whoever wants grace God I feel it in here Help me, Holy Ghost. Hey, yeah. Yeah. I need you just come on out the aisle and hit the altar. Yeah. 
grace grace I said get it Woo. get there Woo. come get grace you're not coming to man you're coming to God oh Jesus that's it come on come on it's for you too it's for you too it's for you yep yeah, it's for you it's for you it's for you yeah. I said oh that's it God's pouring out grace right I said oh he's pouring out grace right now I said come get it it's yours come get it I said grace 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 yeah. hallelujah sit right there sister baker in my shanda oh there it is there it is there it is there it is i, I wouldn't sit there if i wanted it i wouldn't sit there if i needed it come get it god says it's a gift come get it grace today i said Whoa. Grace today. Grace to get yeah, there. It Woo! I hear the Holy Ghost say, everybody can get it. If you want it, you can have it. Grace. Grace, grace, grace. Grace, grace, grace. Grace, grace. I need grace. Woo! Shut up. Hey, hey, God's doing the work. I said, God, what am I shot? Move in here, Jesus. Move in here. Lay your hands on the Father. Touch every soul. You know where they are. You know where they need you. Pour grace. Pour grace. More grace. More. Yeah. Oh my son. More grace. More grace. More grace. More. Yeah. More grace. I need the glory cares. Go up, go up. More grace. More grace. More grace.
It's in the house. It's in the house. It's, in, ooh, it's all over the room. It's all over the room. Grace and more 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 grace. And more grace. The Lord told me not to close up the oil yet. Somebody need it. Don't you miss this moment. <laughs> Don't you miss this moment. <laughs> more grace. More grace. More grace. More grace. More grace. His grace. God's grace. Let there be a shout in the room. Yes! I said, let there be a shout in the room. It's not in vain. It's not in vain. It's not in vain. Grace to deliver. Grace to rescue. Grace to renew. Grace to restore. <laughs> Grace to recover, Bosha. Grace to cover. Grace. 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 Oh, God's grace. God's grace. God's grace. Last call. Last call. If you're in this room and you want or need the grace of God, woo, I feel Jesus. You ain't getting there by yourself. You need grace. You ain't making it on your You need grace. You need grace to work. You need grace to function. Oh, I thank you, Holy Ghost. You need grace to live. Yay! Come on, last call. Move. Grace. Grace. Come on. I need y'all not to stop right there. Push a little bit more. Yep. Grace. Come on. Another way, God. Another way. Another way. Shama. Another way. Yotaba. Another way. Step in and do it again. Step in and do it again. Not with the man's hands, but the grace of God. Grace. God, yo, yeah, come on. You got to get there. Come through that door. Walk through that door. 
walk through that it's open for you come on come on <laughs> yep there it is come on <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> oh Jesus <laughs> we need more great come on <laughs> you gotta release yourself <laughs> uh -huh. yeah 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 I, yeah 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 <laughs> yeah Come on, Lucia, you're in the room now. Thank you, Holy Ghost. God said you're where Grace is now. You got to let him do it now. Let him touch it now. Let him have it now. It's grace for that. Oh, shut up. It's grace for that. There's grace for that. There's grace for that. And that too. Oh, shut up. And that too is grace for all of it. It's grace for all of it. It's grace for, I said it's grace for all. God said it's grace for all of it. Everything God says it's grace. I got grace for it. I got grace for it. There it is. Come on. I got, whoosh, Come here, Sister Hunter. Got to motion, come on. Got to get to God says, I got grace for that. <laughs> yeah! Grace for all of it. Every single thing. Oh, I feel God right there. Every. I said, oh, every single thing. I love God in here. Grace that restores. Grace that renews. Grace that woo, frees me. Grace that frees me. Grace that frees me. Grace that frees me. Ah, yeah, Tomo Shika Mana Masita. I wish I had a praiser in the room. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. Woo, Shika man. I said, Grace that frees. Healing grace. Healing grace. Healing for Shatamaya. God said, drink all of it. Drink or tamasha. Drink it, drink it up. Drink a tamasha. Somebody send that around your pew. Tell them, get all of this, get all of this, get all of this. More grace, more grace. More grace, more. I said, get all.
more grace, more grace. It's not all in vain. It's not. Woo! <laughs> Where you've been, it's not in vain. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> I hear the word of the Lord. For all things <laughs> work together <laughs> for the good. <laughs> He's working it together. <laughs> yeah, your sin wasn't good, <laughs> but His blood covers <laughs> and turns it around. <laughs> And now he's making it work. Yeah. What should have brought you death, he's going to make it work for you. What should have brought you trouble, he's going to make it work for you. What should have brought you disconnection, he's going to make it work for you. It's working. More grace. More grace. More grace. More grace. Oh my, 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 I feel Jesus. Yet there it is. Somebody else just took a taste. Oh, taste and see. I said, God got grace for you too. I said, Lord, I'm trying to let him go. I got grace for you too. Stubborn demon, there's grace for you too. I feel Jesus. Huh? Yeah. Hard-headed demon, there's grace. There's grace to take care of you too. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. I got power today. Here, yeah, Shabbat. I got grace and power here. Yeah. And it ain't mine, it's God's. Ooh, I feel God up in here. Yeah. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Hear me. Galatians, Paul writes again. Yeah, God help me. Paul writes again, and I need you to hear it. The Holy Ghost just told me, make sure I get this out there to you. Yeah. Hallelujah. He says, in Galatians chapter 2, he says, I'm crucified with Christ. Nevertheless, I live. Yeah. Watch the word. Yet not I, but Christ liveth in me. Hear me, watch the word, <laughs> and, the, whoo, and the life which I now live in the flesh, hear me, I live by the faith of the Son of God who loved me and gave himself for me. I have, I have to do this. <laughs> God, <laughs> you will not live without grace. Uh, in fact, you cannot live. Shanda hita masho. Ooh, you cannot live without grace. He says, I'm crucified with Christ. If you are not willing to let the crucifixion happen to you and your deeds and your sin and your carnal nature and your way of doing it and your way of handling it and your way of thinking and your way of strategizing and your desires and your motives and all of you crucified with him. He's not, oh, help me, Jesus. God says, I'm not trying to kill you. I'm trying to help you live. But the way to life is through the grave. Tell your neighbor, you got to die. <laughs> yeah. Nevertheless, I live. Yet not I, but the Christ live in me. And the life which I now live in the flesh, I live by faith. You're not going to be able to live. Yeah. Help me, Jesus. 
Jesus. I hear God. Hallelujah. I told you, GCT, I don't know what this year is going to bring. But God said this is the year to be where he is. And the only way you're going to know where God is is that you got the eyes of faith. You might not be able to see your way out. You might not be able to feel your way out. Some of you won't be able to pray your way out. But if you show up where God is, he will cover you with grace. The life I live in the flesh, I live by faith. Watch Paul. Paul. This is what God told me to make sure I got to you. Paul says in chapter 2 of Galatians, the 21st verse, he says, I do not frustrate the grace of God. Yeah. Help me, Jesus. For if righteousness come by the law, then Christ is dead in vain. I need you to look at somebody, tell them he didn't die in vain. That means you're going to take full advantage of the grace and access to the cross. And Paul says, I do not frustrate, God help me, I do not frustrate the grace of God by trying to do it in my flesh. Keeping the law following the church rules but here's what God's word says if you love me you'll keep my commandments and my commandments aren't grievous somebody thank God for grace it's still time come on God do it again it's still time The door was still open. She got in before the door closed. It's still time. Send this around the room. Say, don't frustrate the grace of God. You can't do it on your own. You can't do it by yourself. You can't do it on your own. Come on, another wave, God. Come on. Another wave, God. We need it. We need more grace. More grace. I said more grace. I said more grace. I s- yeah. One quick second. Hear me. If you have already been here, hear me real quick. If you have already been here and you have received grace today, God wants you now to pour. Shama. How do I do that, Pastor Sean? Yeah. The w- Ooh, shama. you can do it one of two ways some of you just got enough grace to breathe again so you need to take the breath and just praise God for grace that's one way did, I, I, did you hear me you need to t- some of you just got grace to start breathing again you need to take that breath and start praising him for the grace that's one way some of you God said I gave you grace to function and to work you are the intercessors I hear the Holy Ghost your grace intercessors so if you receive grace already tell your neighbor it's time to pour either you're praising or you're praying you're praying come on come on you're praising shit my time I, or you're praying ha. one more wave God ha. one more pour ha, yeah. shit my, whoo, I feel it yep I feel it one more pour come on come on stay there yep one more pour ha, yeah. shit my time my no more shot one more pour ha, yeah. one more pour ha. one more pour ha, time I shy, yeah. one more one more pour ha. one more pour one more pour come on come on one more one more one more if god don't do it it won't be done i said one more pour come on praisers i need you praying or praising praying or praising yeah come on here it come come on here you gotta leave you gotta let it go though you got you gotta let him touch it Expose it. Whoa, Shama. Expose it. Yep. It's grace. You weren't going to be vulnerable. 
You're not going to be left out there uncovered. It's grace for that. It's grace for that. It's grace for that. Yeah, I feel holy. Uh-huh. If you uncover it, huh? he says, I got grace to cover you back up. Come on. Let, yeah, let them all shine. Yeah, where my intercessors, I need you. I'm not to go It's not by power. It's not by might. <laughs> only the Holy Ghost. Only the only the Spirit of God. It's the Spirit that worketh. Grace. 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 Saturated now. <laughs> Christ. Listen, I need y'all on y'all assignment. God's getting ready to do something. Yeah. It's not too much for my grace. That's what he said. It's not too much for my grace. But you got to let me touch it. You got to let me get there. Yeah. Oh, 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 there it is. Come on. You got to let me get there. You gotta let me get there. Oh, I feel God in here. You, time out. You gotta let me get there. Tell the whole story. Yeah! Oh, I feel Jesus. You ain't gotta tell it to me. You ain't gotta tell it to no. But tell God the whole story. Be be honest with God and tell the whole story. I feel Jesus. Yeah. Uh-huh. He says, I got a destination, but it's going to take grace to get you there. Yeah. Oh, help me, God. Help me. And the more you try to hold on and find your own way, the more lost and confused you're going to be. Shama. But God sent you here today to get all the grace you need. I wish I had a praiser in the room. Did you hear God? All the grace you need. I 
Massa. Oh, 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 All the grace you need is right here for you today. Don't leave without it. Don't leave the state yet. Yeah, come on. A broken heart and a contrite spirit. I see you, God says. You got to tell the whole story. Yeah. Shabbat. Yeah. Stay there. Hallelujah. Come to us. I need you to understand that as anointed as God has made me, there's nothing Sean can do for you. Not in and of myself. Yeah. Ah, help me, God, help me. And I can only do in this moment what God tells me. Shandama. Uh-huh. Stay there. Get all that you need. That's what God says. All the grace you need. Hey, oh, I'm coming back to you. Hey, 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 hey. And God says you need more than you think. Shama. But I got it for you. I got it for you. Open it up all the way to him. I see God take, uh, take, take the cover all the way off and throw it to the other side of the room. See, don't nobody know what you and God are doing right now. Take the cover off and throw it to the other side of the room and let him pour grace everywhere it needs to go. Father, I pray now, go to all the places in this soul, in her life. Go back in time and pour grace, Shema. Go back in her life from the beginning to today and let there be grace. And let there be grace. I need somebody to release a shout in here. Let there be grace. Come on. And it is so, Shema. Hear me. I can't do anything in this moment other than what God allows. God wants you to know something, Tiana. The reason why you haven't already committed suicide, already gotten divorced, already ran away, already, God help me in here, already turned your back on everything and everyone. The reason why you are even standing where you are right now at this moment is because of grace. Thank you, Holy God. He said, for, for anything else, praise me for that. Because I shouldn't be here. Not standing right here. Not thinking what I, I, she said, praise me for it. I dare you lose yourself in that. <laughs> yeah, come on. That's it. That's the Holy Ghost. I said, that's the Holy Ghost. Uh -huh. I said, that's the, yeah, praise him for, oh, there it is. And I'm not sure. Woo! Uh, pr praise me for that grace. Yeah. There's another poem, but praise me for that one first. Oh, I feel the Holy Ghost. I'm sorry, young people. I'm going to let y'all get to your fellowship. Yeah. I feel Jesus. I feel Jesus. Uh, there it is. He, ooh, he said, don't ever forget your story. There's grace for where you are right now. Oh, God just, God just revealed something to me. Wait a minute, sis. God just revealed something to me. <laughs> I'm sorry. For, for the last shall be first. Hear me. 
to the two of you, God says, I don't just want to bring you from where you are. I don't just want to deliver you. I don't just want to rescue you and renew you and refresh you. He says, all of that's in the grace. God says, I want to give you so much grace that my glory shines brighter than what was messed up. Hear me, hear me, hear me, because this is where it gets tricky. He says, I've got so much grace that I want to use you to demonstrate not only my grace, but my glory. Hear me. Glory, God help me. Glory doesn't shine all that bright in a room full of glory unless you're the king of kings. He outshines everything. But glory on our lives doesn't shine as bright when we're in a room full of glory. But take that light and put it in a dark hole. The hole he pulled you out of, he's going to put his glory and his grace on you. He's going to hold you in his hand and he's going to shine his glory back into that dark place. Hear me. The Lord is pushing me for you too. That what you, what God is going to pull you out of, he's going to also use you to shine a light on that. Watch this. I need you not to be nervous uh, with God. Because yeah, cause you will not be put to shame in the hand of God. But God says, I need you to let me put grace on all of it. Watch this. He says, because my grace will keep the mouth of everybody who thinks they know from speaking up because they only know part of the story he says let me finish the story let me finish the chapter that's it there it is let me finish the chapter that's what it just told me let me finish the chapter let me start writing again let God start it. Y'all let them get this grace for real quick. We're moving in a moment. Let them get what they need. You got what you need. Let them get what they need. I said a grace for it. There it is. That's it. Oh, there it is. Thank you, Jesus. Here comes another way. There it is. Here time I shine. Oh, that's it. That's it. Woo! I said a glory way that's full of grace. Yeah, I hear it. April grace and glory. I gotta get out of here. I thought the fear that we were here tell me I feel it. Yeah. yeah! Somebody shout at your neighbor and say grace and glory. Yeah. Let's talk to it. Let's talk to it. Let's talk to it. There it is. Yeah, that's it. Now drink. Now drink. Now drink. There it is. Now drink it up. There it is. That's it. Drink it up. Drink it up. Drink it up. Drink it up. Grace and glory. Woo! Shama. There it is. Ha, yeah, 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 yeah. Woo! I see it in the Holy Ghost. A clean slate. I'm by. Oh, I feel like running. Woo! Shama. I said, I see it. Ha! Yeah! Shekoma. Oh, ha! Yeah! Yeah! Woo! I said, a clean slate. Woo! Ha! He took his blood. Ha! I just wiped it across your life. Yeah. I said he just put 
took his blood and wiped it across your life. A clean slate. A clean slate. Can I just get every spectator to turn into a participator and let's send up a collective shout of praise in this room. And God did it. And God did it. Somebody ought to praise him better than that. I said, and God did it. And God did it. And God did it. And God did it. Rejoice for grace. It's not in vain. It's not in vain. Don't frustrate the grace. For the last time, ask your neighbor, is it in vain? Ask him, is it in vain? By now you ought to know what to tell him back. <laughs> it ain't all in vain. It's not, it's not. It's not. It's not. Woo. Oh, God. I know I said the song wasn't where I met with the message, but I hear something pushing me. God said, Woo. God said, not only did I want to bring you out, but I wanted to pay you for your problems. I wanted to pay you for your mess ups. But since I, my blood is on it now and my grace is on it, I can't pay you with the punishment for sin. I got to pay you with God, with the payment of glory. Let me see what time it is. I got to get out of you. If you shine no more, I gotta do I gotta do all of this in five minutes. If you want the Holy Ghost, you not saved, you want the Holy Ghost, move quickly. You move quickly. If you're here, if you're here, by now you should know if you if you want it or not. If you want it, move quickly. If you want to be baptized today, move quickly. I promise you we'll take you down today. The Lord got on me the other day for somebody that came to be baptized and they decided that they wanted to wait till their family could arrive. So we allowed them that space. They haven't been back since. But I declare that no more waiting for baptisms. We'll record it if we have to and let your family see it uh, on the tape or something. But yeah. If you want to be baptized, come move. We'll do it today. Yes, Shama. Oh, 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 oh. All right. There's glory in the house, and I pray that God has matched and exceeded your expectations today. To every guest and visitor, I love you. Uh, if you give me a few moments after service, uh, just to not get a, at least a dry shirt so I'm not dripping all over you, I would love to greet all of our guests and visitors that came today. Uh, and to all of our family, God bless you. Thank you for Family First Sunday. Come on, GCJ, give God praise. Uh, thank you, Holy Ghost. Yeah. Unless God tells you otherwise, we have come to the close of our time of consecration. Did y'all hear me? Did y'all hear the first part? I know some of y'all like the second part. I want to make sure you heard the first part. Unless God tells you otherwise. Somebody tell your neighbor, listen to God. Unless God tells you, not just listen, obey God. Tell somebody, obey God. Don't just listen, obey. If God, hey, I feel God. If, 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 if the Lord doesn't tell you otherwise, I want you to know that we have come to the close of our time of consecration. Uh, this Friday, we have our all members meeting. Please, just do whatever you have to to get here. It's important, it's vital. 
it's vital that you hear straight from your pastor amen what is going on where we're going and what god has for me to pour into the members of gct please seven o'clock friday uh yeah that's that's all i'm gonna say about that february back to prayer back to the altar prayer revival back to the altar prayer revival back to the altar prayer revival it's four nights the second and the fourth week wednesday and friday february 7th and 9th and then the 21st and the 23rd I believe one, one of my helpers is going to get make sure I got the right dates. The second and the fourth week of February, Wednesday and Friday. It's in person only. You need, if you are a member here, you need to make it your business to find your way to get into the house. I, I want to tell you how I feel it all of those days, but you need to make sure you hit at least one or two of those days. I understand work schedule and, and other responsibilities, but this is of vital spiritual importance. What God is doing, amen, he is trying to seal in what he has poured out. This, this year, oh Jesus. Some of y'all know how I am, I gotta, I gotta call, I gotta, I can't, sometimes I have to stop from saying it because we'll be back at cloud 10. Oh, listen, listen. Please, GC Tay, be here February 7th, 9th, February 21st, and the 23rd. Uh, we, we are very busy. Pray for your pastor. Uh, I'm getting ready to be extremely busy. So y'all pray my strength in the Lord. Amen. Uh, we are busy. Uh, and I'm asking you, and I'm, and I'm done after this. Uh, I'm asking you, GCTA, let's go over to Faith, Hope, and Charity on the second Sunday, and let's celebrate with Pastor George Twilley Sr., Lady Lynette Twilley, and the Faith, Hope, and Charity family. That church, they've not just been a blessing to me or to Lady Patrice, they've been a blessing to this ministry and to this ministry under my uh, my tenure. Uh, Pastor, uh, <laughs> Elder George, <laughs> Elder George Jr. has come, he has shown up, he has poured out, he has ministered here, uh, and we want to go and support them. So as a church family, that's where our service will be on February the 11th. GCTA, we've done this maybe twice. We've gone to HTC, amen, and we've gone to uh, Greater Morning Star Waldorf. This is one of those times where we, we're not leaving the glory in the building. We're not leaving it at home. We carry it with us, and we're going over to Faith, Hope, and Charity, and we're going to celebrate with them. Uh, pray for your pastor. I have engagements throughout the month of February and March, and you'll hear more about that maybe on Friday. But pray for us as we continue to do the work in the will of the Lord. If you love Jesus, say, I love Jesus. Stand, let's be dismissed. Hallelujah. Ada, you made it in time. I should ask you to sing your song, but I'm going to let it go. Just, I'm going to let it go. <laughs> Somebody say no. Of course not. It's not in vain. Father, I thank you for your grace today. I thank you for your power for your demonstration, for your work, for your purpose, God. We're nothing but vessels, but I thank you for the poor today. I thank you for what you've done. And he that hath begun a good work, God, you're more than able whoo, to not only perform it, but we are complete in you. God, finish what you started. Yeah. Perfect that that concerns us. Finish what you, you are a God, hallelujah, that never fails. I pray now, grace and glory for everyone under the sound of our voice. Bless us now as we depart from this place. Bless our young people, Sister Victoria, as they fellowship and engage with one another. I pray God you will be with them. 
pray you'll bless us as we journey from this place. Watch over and protect us. Keep us safe from evil, hurt, harm, and danger. Let your spirit be with us always. If it be your will, you should crack the sky before we meet again. God, break us ready to be caught up to meet you. God, if you delay your coming, hallelujah to Jesus. Let us gather again with praise on our lips, joy in our heart, and glory on our life. Father, bless us and we shall be blessed. Keep us and we shall be kept. And we give you praise for it all. It is in the name of the Lord Jesus we pray. We declare it is so. Amen. God bless you. Have a blessed week in Jesus.